Hello, so today I am going to be doing this look with the ColourPop Barbie collab and using um, most of the products that I received in that set. So stay tuned. I haven't put on any foundation, nothing, didn't do my brows um, to start this because I wanted to do a simple look. It might end up being simple just for the rest of like summer only because who wants to be putting on hardcore makeup? But anyway, once I saw ColourPop came out with the Barbie, um, I don't know, it's like Malibu Barbie, then this thing's Beach Party, so it's like Barbie, Barbie, Malibu. Um, I only have one Barbie kind of on display. I mean, she's in a box because all of my others are in boxes and my house is too small. Um, I wish I had money to get like huge shelves, just like shelves all over to put all of my Barbies one day. So anyhow, um, I needed to have this. I've loved Barbie since I was basically born. <laughs> so my love of makeup also is the length of time that I have loved Barbie. I know I got my first Barbie when I was four um, for Christmas and that was the loving new Barbie and she had like these big poofy sleeves and she was like a real like Valentine's themed. She also came with this little, it was a plastic container with heart shaped paper that was, I want to say it was scented and it had a little stamper that said, I heart you. And I think I still have the stamper somewhere. I used to have the little container, but I think I lost part of it. So anyhow, what it came with was, and I, I did open these, but I didn't like test them. I didn't do anything. I just like opened them to look at them because I got them like a little bit before we went camping. So what I'm going to do is I'll take everything out of the box and then like, well, I was going to put it back in the box, but if I'm going to use it, then that's not a good idea. I needed to get the whole set since I love Barbie. So we'll start with the first. It looks like this. Malibu Barbie on the front. Shows you what the names of the shades are on the back. When you open it, it looks exactly like the package that came in. And then we have a little mirror and then all of our shades here. This shade is what sold me because if you see the 1970s Malibu Barbie, um, they did have one that they re-released. I want to say she was definitely in 2000s. They, they started doing the re-releasing of dolls like in the late 90s, but she was 2000s. Um, so they did the Malibu Barbie. I, yeah, I do have, I have the first, the very first re-release that they did. Um, and the only reason I actually remember, because all of them are in boxes, is because in my apartment that I had in my early 20s, I had her on display on the shelf in the living room. All the others were piled on a desk in my bedroom. So this is the Super super Shock Highlighter. This one is Beach Party. And it's a really big pan for a highlighter. Um, so I would say with this, ooh, I never even touched this. That is soft. I would say you could even do it. We'll just kind of throw some here. I mean, it's so big that you can use it as like, in addition to like bronzer. That's really soft, that's nice. Felt like a little like, I don't know, velvety pillow. Um, came with doll lashes. I am not sure if I'm going to use these today. I'm gonna try. I try not to make the video so long, but, because it takes forever to upload. So if I do the look quick enough, but because I'm showing everything, this here is the hand mirror. 
One thing is I thought the hand mirror might be bigger. That's the only thing. I mean, I'm used to like the Jeffree Star mirrors are big, but I mean, I'm dare I say it's Barbie size. <laughs> it comes in this here. I might just keep this mirror just in here and just keep it in the box and maybe put it in my case over there. But it's just a cute little, little guy. I mean, it'd be good for traveling. So um, even if you only kept like this part or if you wanted to put it in the box, wrap it up in like your clothes or something like that. But I think the mirror I'm definitely just gonna keep in the box and keep her nice and safe forever and ever. Then it came with lip duos. So this is the Golden Beach Lip Duo. This one. So we have the lip liner and it's a golden beachy color. So it's like a light, like a taupe. Yep. Oh, and they all look like this. So I'll show this one first. So the component's really cute. This pink is also um, so, so like Barbie dream house. The color of the doors, the windows um, in the 1970s house. So I love that. This is the color of the lipstick. And then we have dream house. I love the boxes. I miss all the old Barbie stuff. I really do. I do like some of the new ones. Ugh, I'm just not a fan of like their face molds. All right, so this is, it's kind of similar to this one. I mean, it might show up to. Okay, this dream house, at first it looked brown. It might just be like just, you know how there's like that powder on the ends? And they don't twist up, so they're plastic and you do have to sharpen them. Okay, so we got like a, a mauve color. Oh, I didn't see that before. I don't know, if I get too close with this, it looks like crap, but it's still, I don't even wanna use these now. Oh my God. I mean, they're just going to melt and get gross anyway, I guess, if I don't use them. Like, 20 years from now, when it's rotten and moldy, like, what am I going to do with it? Just because it has the design on it. Oh, <laughs> I was talking and I forgot. Um, ooh, Malibu Sunset. Ooh, now, see, Dream House, I thought, would be more of a pink color. This is, like, a purpley pink. I didn't even really look at these that good. You know that's my color. Those two are very good nudes, and then this is a really nice dark, but not too, too bright pink. Okay, so that's all that came with it, which I don't really think is bad for 100 bucks. That's reasonable to me. So what I'm going to go in with first, I hate to tuck my ears back because it's going to ruin the look. It's going to put a bend in it, but whatever. Um, this I found at, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I ordered this from Urban Decay. Oh, I was wiping my brushes off um, online. It is the Stay Naked Maniac or I'm sorry, Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. It's medium coverage, but what I will say, now before I got sunburn and then it brought out my melasma a lot more, it did cover pretty good. So I figured it covered good. It didn't feel gross on my face. We'll see, maybe I should test it out this weekend because it's supposed to be like 90 degrees. So I've used my fingers. The only thing I find with, oh, and I didn't do primer today. I'm just not going to do it. Um, because I'm just going to wash off. It's nighttime. Anyway, I've used my fingers. The only thing I've noticed is it will streak a bit when you use your fingers. So you have to go in and then just like pat over it if there's a streak. 
You can't just like take it and just like slap it on your face. So, put this one. Oh, and I have that stupid hole in my face. Do not squeeze pimples that don't want to come out. Because then, guess what happens? You'll get a hole in your face. All right, it's time for me to turn this this way. Oh yeah, that's why I chose this one too because my skin's darker and I know this was like a shade or two darker when I originally got it. Always get, I mean, if you've watched any beauty videos, you know what to do, but sometimes people aren't aware and this does really glow. So if you are matte and you are like, hey, I cannot have any type of glow on my face at all, don't use this. Like, it is definitely not for you. I like it. Um, it does look shiny. And at first I'm not used to it because I'm so used to having a matte makeup. And I will set it with a setting powder too. So I'm not going to say that I'm not going to do that but it still shines through um even with the setting powder so I'm not used to seeing my face glowy and then when I do do it I kind of like it like throughout the day if I see myself in the mirror I'm like oh hey that actually looks pretty good so just and I did like three squirts just because um, it is medium coverage and it is a lightweight formula, but I do want it to cover as much as I want, like to get some sort of coverage on my skin, if you know what I mean. All right. And see, one thing too, because of the glow, I think it refracts. So since it's refracting the light, even though this is darker, you really, you can kind of see, but whatever. I mean, listen, we're all human. We all have skin issues. Nobody has absolute perfect skin. Like, honestly, and ooh, my clip fell. If you're piling on and piling on and piling on, the work to achieve perfection eventually reverses and then you end up looking like you put too much on and you look like a plastic doll. Oh my God, you look like a plastic doll, I'm being Barbie. No, but really, oh. I wanted to do a video last week, but I got really, really bad sunburn because I was dumb. It happens okay so I am also going to if you look at Malibu Barbie she literally has like no eyebrows so I'm just gonna work with like my natural skinnier brows and just go in and what I want to do is like round this out so instead of being square can you see that I hope oh, there that's better so I'm going to do a little, this side's easier for me to do like a little roundy guy. Um, I wanted to use the lighter brown, but it is what it is at this point. Alright, so we're going to go and just color you in. And then we're going to do like a swoopy arch. I'm just gonna keep them thin today. As in the 70s, thin was in, right? Well, that's not too bad. I'm using the NYX just regular eyeliner because 
most brow pencils for me, and I've probably said this before, and I probably will again. They are too, like the wax is too hard. And I like that this is a soft wax and it'll hold. Oh, look at you. That one looks fun. This one needs to just get a little more into it. to look straight on. I just tweezed my brows for the first time in a while last night too, so. All right, let's go with, even though this one seems a little lower, I'm gonna do the, the P. Louise face that I always use. So even though I'm going to wash this off, I want to see what these colors actually look like. I mean, I'm sure at some point in the summer I'm not going to use an eyeshadow base. And I'll... Hello camera. I'll see what they look like on their own. But for now, I want to see what they look like with the base. I don't like putting this on with my finger. I did put it on with a brush for a time and it wasn't bad, but because I don't clean my brushes as often as I should, it got like streaky on me and weird. So I was just like, oh, no thanks. And we're gonna blend in here. This got a little jacked up here, so. And then once my nails get longer, it's like harder to do because I'll poke myself in the eye. Good. Okay. Okay, I see right here. I didn't get. Okay. I'm right, just shoving my face in the camera again like a strange person. I want to be close enough, but. I don't know how to get that like angle. Doesn't look like I'm a weirdo. Oh well. I need like 50 different cameras and like a camera. Uh, here's my little clicker. Like one of these to like, change the camera channel. This is my right eye. This is my left eye. Okay, forward. But, listen, even spending a hundred dollars on this makeup set is like a leap for me. That's just how it goes. Perfect. Okay, now, sorry if I always, always slam things down, but that's just how I do it. Okay, I definitely know I wanted to do that blue on my lid. I've done a blue on the lid look before, but I mean, this is Malibu Barbie, so. I wonder if I could do Pink so pretty too. Okay, I got it. So I'm obsessed with this one. Surf's up. So I'm gonna do that one. And then I'm gonna move into Malibu Memories and I'm gonna do that one like 
to blend it out a little bit. I do definitely want to use some of Cali Girl right here that's going to go in here. I don't think I'm really going to get any pinks in today. We shall see. All right, let's go. And then I went into the wrong one. Hello, Brain. Will you please work with me today? Thank you. Okay. It's going on the brush good. Back over here, camera. Camera number two, move. Oh, it's going on really pretty. It's really super soft. Beautiful. I know. I know you're waiting for it. I'm not going to sing the song until I'm done. And I like it. <laughs> I want to shove it in to my lash line because I'm not going to do any type of like liquid liner or anything like that. I really want to do close to what the original doll had. I mean, technically she really just had blue on, but. Where's that? I messed up right here. That little guy right there. She's right out of line. I'm gonna probably bring this up just a little higher because I have that hooded lid, so I want to see it a little more. There you go, making the weird face again. I gotta, I'm gonna do it to get up in here. And we're gonna go for a round look, cause that's what my girl had in the, in her Malibu days. It's funny because even in the 80s, like, I knew about Mal Malibu Barbie. Like, she was, like, hot stuff. Cute. All right. Oh, and my brush is just my normal, the one from Naked 3. All right, into Malibu Memories. And we're just going to darken that up and drag it up. I've noticed that there's not really like a light, light highlight color in here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we're already at 22 minutes. This is going to take forever to upload or it's not going to upload at all. Uh, I don't know if it's my internet or what. Need a little more. I try to do round as much as I can, but when I do it quick, I just it goes with my brow bone, so it's hard for me. That's more round than I usually do. All right, I'll take it. All right, what do we got? Let's get this brush here. Just one of the Miss Q ones. Let's do, well, you know what? Highlight, let's go in with Cali Girl. Shoot, I think whatever was on. Nope. Let's just go for it. Let's go for the gold. Bang. Ooh, okay. It's fallen on me a bit, but sometimes I like when it. Ooh. I'm liking it. We're just like glowing and honestly, Malibu Barbie like glowed herself. She really did. And then we're gonna take that same one. Well, I don't wanna take the same one now. I'm gonna take shine on this one. I know I'm awkward. Forgive me. Oh yes. 
That's more copper than the gold, and I think that that copper matches my skin, so it gives a highlight here, but then also blends in really nice. And I think I need something here that looks too blank for me. I'm gonna do Make Waves just to Add some definition in there. It looks a little darker on the skin, but that's okay. I like this color. It's kind of orangey, but it's not like, it's like a nice, a really, really nice tan. It just looks like a super tan skin. Cute. Okay, um, next I need a little brush. I'm gonna do the Malibu Memories on a hair. And then this side. Good. All right. Where may be my brush? Okay. Take my normal Jeffree Star setting powder. I always put everything in. I don't even use concealer. And I'm not mad about it. Like I said, after this goes, it will absorb the setting powder and then it will still kind of show a little shimmer through. All right, there's that. I'm gonna use the Brave On Diamond Eyes Powder instead of concealer. I can find a brush that it would work. I'm gonna just use this one. I usually use a smaller one, but. Just right here, like that tired area. I'm just gonna pat it in. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Oh, much better. The concealer that I have right now is too light for my skin and I didn't want those reverse raccoon eyes. I think that worked out really nicely. Uh, since we're already kind of bronzy, I didn't want to do contour, but let's just say, oh, we have like a couple minutes to just whip some stuff on. Anybody else with long hair? Well, I know, it's like a huge thing. I can't ask, oh, anybody else with long hair? Your hair is all over the damn place? Because it always is. This is like my five minute bronzer contour. Mm -hmm. And I know Malibu Bari doesn't have it, but That's why it didn't work out the first time. All right, that's good, good, good. Mm, I think I'm so bronzy and already glowing. Oh, never mind. I am glowing here, but then it does, it, the color, that's what it is. The color blends in really, really good. But then, all right. 
Hey, Gwen's donut. <laughs> Sometimes it's cute. I like it. Good. Blush. Ooh. I don't really ever use oranges. And I have. I don't really ever use them, so they're hiding. I haven't used this one in forever. The, the NARS Orgasm. It's like beat up, but whatever. <laughs> Let's use you. Ooh, yes. You know what this reminds me of? like a dustpan brush. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna go like sweep the floor. All right, for the lips, sticking sort of with the Melody Barbie, let's do Dream House, and then we will be done. Oh, I'm gonna do mascara. I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, beat the clock because your internet sucks. Nah, nah, nah. I like this one. Oh yeah. The lip liner was really nice. And the lipstick feels nice too. It doesn't feel gross or anything. Okay. My back's hurting from like twisting like that. The lashes would look so good with this, but because it's taking like forever I just wanted to do something different and not do like half my makeup before I started. Bye, Pope. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good with the mascara. My daughter hates seeing me put mascara on. She's like, oh my god, your eyeballs. <laughs> They're like rolling back in your head. Well, it's better than getting a scratch on your cornea if you touch your eye. I mean, I'd rather have a scratch on the white. It doesn't bother you as much. Did you ever scratch your cornea? Oh, it's so annoying. And then your eye just waters all day. And especially if, oh, I've woken up and like had to go to an appointment and drive while my eyes are involuntarily tearing like nobody's business I don't even think I need that's why I don't put false mask or oh my god false lashes on that much because when I use this ever mascara I'm gonna make them get so huge that it's like
not completely necessary. 35 minutes. Oh, weird guy there. One good thing too with like shimmer in your makeup. It's really easy to wipe away mistakes. Matte does not do the same thing. And I just have these little hairs that I don't like. And then there's the kink, but it is what it is. So there we go. Oh, hello hair. I think it looks Malibu Barbie. <laughs> so there's the Malibu Barbie look. I hope you had fun. And as always, have a great day.